So today we're talking about uh, delicious video game characters, and I didn't come up with this topic. That was Joshua. Thanks, Joshua, for that. You're welcome. Uh, I'm so hungry. we're talking about which characters would be the most delicious. Now I'm a breakfast guy. I really enjoy my breakfast, and I got to go with Yoshi. Now you're thinking to yourself, you don't normally eat dinosaur for breakfast. Well, you do if you're the Flintstones, so shut the f up. But if you're thinking about it in a more intelligent way, he lays all those eggs. Those eggs have to be delicious. Eggs are amazing. I put eggs on everything for breakfast. I, I, I do like a scramble. I do a breakfast burrito that has eggs in it. I love eggs. Yoshi's eggs have to be good. You'd think, right? Right? And then you have, you have all the different Yoshis. Perhaps those eggs would taste different. You have uh, different styles of eggs. Maybe, maybe the red one would just come out deviled. You don't know. That's possible. Mmm, tastiest characters. How about Kirby? Yes, Kirby looks delicious. He looks like a giant pink marshmallow. Like he would taste like um, like the, what are the Easter candies? They're like the little Easter marshmallowy things and they're pink. I don't remember the exact name of them. Someone leave it in the comments, but they're tasty. Like I would love to make a Kirby s'more. Like goes graham cracker, chocolate, Kirby. And then just roast it over an open fire and then just om nom. Which is ironic because Kirby actually eats other enemies. That's kind of his thing. And, you know, he, he does his thing, but I would still like to eat and destroy him. Um, but you're still my favorite in Smash Bros, Kirby. I love you. You see, I'm a man, and I love meat. Yes, I love meat. I love, like, like steak. I love burgers. I love just any kind of meat I want it in my face. I know what I'm saying, and I don't care about the joke. It's not a double entendre. I just love meat. So I'm going straight with, uh, straight. I'm going right with Super Meat Boy. Now, one would say, oh, it's disgusting, it's just blood. Dude, have you ever taken like a steak and just kind of like throw it on the grill, let it just go for a few moments and flip it over, throw some A1 sauce in and just take a bite and it's still kind of bloody? Ah, oh, so good. Mmm, makes me feel like a real carnivore. Yeah, they're the ones that eat meat, so I'm a carnivore. And like, see the great thing about like Super Meat Boy is like, he's just like so juicy and just so much meat and you can turn them into a hamburger, you can have a super meat burger, you can have a super meat steak, you can have super meat Joes, like Sloppy Joes. He's like, that's what he is. He's one giant Sloppy Joe that's just trying to save his princess. But just look at him and he's, he's cute. The teeth you have to get rid of first. You definitely prepare him without the teeth. Other than that, it's a good steak right there. Super meat boy with a little A1 sauce on top. Chef's choice. And then my second one, now, in, it's taken me into my adult life to get into the seafood, because as a kid I thought it was disgusting. But um, my second one, I'm going to have to go with Magic Carp, because it's a magical carp. Carp is, I mean, I haven't actually had carp, I've had salmon. They probably taste similar. But if you were to then take that and add magic, how is that? That's got to be amazing. Can you imagine if someone was like, here's this bacon, and you were like, okay, it's bacon, that's awesome, this bacon. They're like, whoa, 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 it's magical bacon. It's came from a beast called Magic Bacon. And you, you would just be like, what? Magical bacon? That has to be the greatest thing ever. And then you'd bite it, and you'd all of a sudden have Nirvana, and you'd understand the universe. I feel like that's what would happen. What else? Let's see. I was always surprised you couldn't eat the pigmen in Duke Nukem, or Duke Nukem 3D. One of those, what was the old Duke Nukem game? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if it was the first one or the second one, but uh, there were the, the alien pigmen. And I'm like, oh, those guys look like they taste like bacon. And Duke would would uh, destroy them and they would just lay on the ground and I'm like, what a waste of delicious bacon. And, you know, his contemporary, Duke Nukem's contemporary, the Wolfenstein guy, uh, he, he used to eat like Nazis and stuff to regain health. I'm like, really? You can eat Nazis but you can't eat these pigmen that are over here? I don't know, maybe he just didn't see what was going on in that other game or didn't want to copy. But I just roast up those pigmen, bam, health boost, you're right back in there, Duke. Duke Nukem. Dukey Nukerson. Now come on, this one's may maybe not as much of a main character, but chocobos in the Final Fantasy universe. You know they're delicious, like they're just giant chickens with like more leaner meat. Like what I would do is I would, well first of all, just kind of like cut off its head, go to like get deep, deep pluck it, I think is the, the correct term, get all the feathers off. <laughs> Oh, okay, well I'll just pluck it then. And uh, I'd probably like, I'd probably like cook up like maybe some chocobo breasts with like a lemon pepper sauce with a, like a cream of mushroom sauce on top, served with the side of, of Mog. Uh, Kupo, he, he's gotta be delicious too. 
She's like, that would be like a delicious dinner. Like, and so you, you got like, uh, maybe not the wings of chocobos, because they're, they're pretty long wings. You can't have ostrich wings. I would think it's a lot like ostrich. You can have an ostrich burger, you can have a chocobo burger. Damn, I put a lot of thought into this. Might be why I'm single. Also why I'm a little fat. I'm a fat kid. Who wants to eat chocobo? Yeah. This is a ridiculous topic, what are we doing?